Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. In Ruby Snack number 18, I have a special treat for you. It's contributing to open source. This is a lightning talk that I presented at a meetup called Read Write Code. It's for female developers. I gave this talk on August 27th, 2015. The following is a live stream that they recorded of the presentation. Enjoy. Having us. And so we're going to have our first lightning speaker. Everyone give her a hand. Yeah. Okay. Hi everyone. Hope you're having a good evening. Oh, my computer went to sleep. That would be good hard to do. I have some awesome slides that I put together. It's not showing up yet. He's working on it. Ta-da! All right, so yeah, so my name's Melissa Wanish, and I'm the founder of Ruby Thursday. It's a tutorial site that uh, helps uh, root, uh, junior Ruby developers and Ruby on Rails developers. So today, I thought I would talk to you guys about Contributing to open source. This is an overview. Does that there? So, what is open source? All right, here I pasted in the lovely Wikipedia thing. So, basically, it's a project that somebody has made and put out into the world, hoping that other people will contribute and help develop. All right, so it's not free software. You know that you can use just for free. It's open source. So they want you to contribute, want your input to keep it going. So how do you contribute? There are four basic ways. One way is just to give bug reports. All right? These administrators can't run every scenario, so if something's going wrong, let them know. All right? And then another way is for to help with documentation. So <laughs> It's really important to know how to use the open source and what endpoints it might have. And people are so busy creating the product, they don't always have time to document it. Bug fixes. If you find a bug, help them fix it. And of course, feature builds. This doesn't mean huge, huge things. It can be small things too, just a method that will help you and, and everyone else use the project more efficiently. So now a couple of tips for each of these. So when reporting bugs, you want to be sure to reproduce the bug a few times. All right, not just it happens once, let me, let me go on GitHub, let me throw it up. All right, you want to reproduce it a couple of times, especially if it's client side, you want to try a couple of different browsers, maybe a different operating system. Specify the versions when you put down when the bug happened. Tell a story, all right, this happened, I clicked on this, then this happened. Paste in the terminal output, that's always helpful. And of course, screenshots. Those are really awesome to you know, give the other person an idea of what you are seeing. All right, for documentation, it can be as simple as helping with typos and misspellings. All right, you would not, <laughs> you'd be surprised how often you're reading documentation and there's you know, a missing comma or a missing colon. I mean, those things are really important, especially in code. All right, so you want to be sure to help them find those little things. You want to clarify current documentation. Things change all the time. My most recent contribution was actually to the Rails documentation because something had changed, all right, with using Gmail in a Rails app. And, you know, we needed to note that. Or you can add a full tutorial, especially with new projects that are growing really rapidly. There's, again, not time for the project administrators to write everything down. All right, bug fixing tips. Take an issue you found or one that has been reported and say you'll work on it. All right, make sure that you, in, in, on GitHub, you know, say, hey, I'm gonna take this and work on it. Write a test that results with that error and then correct the code so the test passes. It's really not that hard. All right, feature build tips. It's important to get sign-off from the project administrators before you build something, all right? Because you wanna make sure that they agree with you that this is needed and it's going in the right direction. Because you could do all this work and it not get merged. Of course, you could 
fork it and make your own project, but if you want to contribute to the whole ecosystem, get, get the sign-off first. Write those comprehensive tests. Always good to test. Make sure that all the current tests pass. All right, don't just run your test. <laughs> run them all again. And then get feedback. And inevitably, the project administrators are going to have some kind of feedback for you. Take it and, and use it. All right, they're, they're there to have a conversation. All right, some etiquette tips. All right, you're working with people from all around the world. Here's how you need to communicate. All right, so read through the project's process for contributing. All right, these large projects, especially, you know, things that are huge, like Ruby on Rails, that's what I do, they have fully documented processes. It might take you an hour or two just to figure out the best way to contribute and to submit your commit. But it's worth it, because then they get merged right away. Open source equals volunteers. All right, generally these projects are managed by people on their weekends and at night. Be patient if they don't respond to you right away. All right, it may take them a few days. And then fully describe your commits, okay? Boom, or did that, or fixed it. Not really very descriptive. All right, if you want your things merged, you need to ex explain what the pain point was and why you decided to fix it in this particular way. All right, now how do you get started? All right, so there are a couple of ways. If you're like, well, I don't really know where to go, you can go to codetriage.com, all right, and they help your favorite open source projects. They have a list of them, ones that are really active, because it's important to pick a project that's active, you know, that the project administrators are going to get back to you. So they will show you lots of those. And then another thing just on GitHub is um, the help GitHub articles where I can find open source projects to work on. All right, it says it right there. That's the name of it. All right, so let's see if you're running it down. So um, again, my name is Melissa Wanish, and I run rubythursday.com. So if you want to head on over there, you can know a little bit more about me and what I'm doing. And so yeah, boom, did that. OK, questions. And we have a little um, square cube. I'm sorry, it's a cube. I'm not going to toss it. Here, ready? Really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> neat. I just wanted to ask if you could put this these slides up on GitHub and post a link on the Meetup page because this is really good. This is really useful. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any other questions? Totally fine. All right. Yay! Thanks, guys. If you have any questions about contributing to open source, please leave a comment below. And if you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can click that button right there to do so. Or if you are not on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign up to get more Ruby Thursday awesomeness in your inbox. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.